spring equinox practice. So standing firm through the feet, having them about hip distance apart, arms strong by your side, crown up towards the ceiling, standing nice and tall, firm up your legs, press the outer edge of your feet away from each other. Standing nice and tall, feel that strength rooting down through your legs, activating into the calves and shin, but try not to lock into your knees too much. And you're gonna be standing at the front of your mat. And then from here, we're gonna turn back, we're gonna step back with the right leg, and we're gonna have the arms out behind us. And straighten the legs. Now, as we breathe in, we're gonna raise the arms up, bend the legs at the knee, open into the armpit, and let's take our gaze up. So that's our breath in, and then our breath out. We straighten the legs, press back. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Now this practice that we're going to do today, we're going to do it a few times. I'm just going to record it once, but I want you to go through it a few times. And just notice how the body warms up. And we're going to come back to the front of the mat in a moment. Okay, so really pressing back on this one. And then bring those arms forward. Let's have a little pause there. Drop the shoulders, reach through the hands. Press the feet away from each other, nice and strong through the legs. Take a lovely breath in here. Sight out through your mouth. Super, we're going to step to the front of the mat. And we're just coming back into firming up the legs. Pressing the feet away from each other. Standing up through the crown, nice and tall. And we're going to step back with the left leg. Stepping back with the left leg. So the same thing on this side, pressing away. So we're breathing in. So there's a bend in that front knee, reaching up, pressing away. So you don't need a lot of space for this sequence. But you can put the mat at the side of your bed, maybe on your upstairs landing. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, press the arms away. So breathing in, this time we're going to look up, reaching up. If this pulls on your lower back at all, you drop the arms. Breathing there, so let's gaze upwards, looking up to that lovely spring sunshine. Draw the feet away from each other, active in the legs. We're going to drop the arms next, I'm going to step back to the front. So nice and strong through your mat. So the next one we're going to do, we're going to have a little go warrior three. So we know what we can do wobbly. It's late in the evening and I'm recording this. I've been on my feet a lot today, so my legs are a bit wobbly. So I'm going to come forward with that right leg. I'm going to bring the arms out to the side so you can straighten the arms. If you've got enough room, I've got a wall here. So I'm going to bring my weight forwards, 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 feeling a lightness through that back leg. Okay, so let's not worry about what shape you, you're in. I'm not perfect. So I'm just going to try and lift the back leg, see how your balance is this evening, today, this morning, whatever time you're practicing. Lovely, then we're going to bring that leg back down. Let's just drop it down. Just relax the arms. We're going to do that twice more. So we're bringing that weight forward. Take your time. There's no rush. So it's just like a little variation of warrior three. So as you're going to practice this sequence of a few times, I want you to notice how it feels now. And then... See, by maybe your third repetition, if you get a bit better with your balance, okay, hopefully mine will too. So going back with the right leg, doesn't matter which one you do, you've done the other one, that's fine. So we're opening out and then bringing forward, so I'm just bringing my weight forward into that front leg, firming down through the heel, firing up into the back of my leg there, firming up, feeling a lightness in the feet, a lightness in that back foot, just letting it lift up and then see how it brings to come down. So even if you just stand for a few moments, you're still in a balance, we're opening it out. Lifting up through that leg. Is this your stronger leg? It's my stronger leg. And then we're gonna try again, last one on this side. Seeing how that feels. Hopefully you can't hear my knee creaking in the background. 
Lovely, bringing that down. Okay, so from here we're going to lift the arms up. We're going to sit back into an imaginary chair. We're going to reach up and bring the arms back down. So let's bring the arms up, sit back, reaching up, sit down. We'll do that again, last one. You can do these repetitions as many times as you want to. Coming up. Lovely. Okay, so we're just going to make our way down to the floor any which way you want. We're just going to come into our lovely nice cat, spread the hands nice and wide. And from here, um, knees underneath the hips. So just rounding up through the spine, really drawing that navel in today. Blow out through your mouth. Just come back to a neutral. And then just allow the very end of your spine there, just to point up towards the ceiling, gazing forwards. And then we're going to round. Let's press the hands into the floor. Press the shins into the floor. And coming back. And again. Breathing out. Breathing in through your nose. The last one, we're going to breathe out through the mouth. Super. Now, from this neutral position, let's bring the right leg forwards. Okay, so it's like a runner's lunge. I want you to think about springing forward into the springtime. You're a sprinter. You're getting ready. It's a time for renewal. You've got limited time to plant those seeds, get everything sorted. So you're just here for a moment. And then we're going to spring forward. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring the hands a little bit forward, tuck the back toe under. Now you can just stay here. But if you want to try, we're going to bring that leg back. So it's a little bit like a warrior three again. And then we're going to bring that down. I'm just going to come back a bit so you can see me on camera. Okay, so you're poised. Bringing the hands forwards and lift. So firing up that standing leg, making it work, make the back of the thigh work, and we're coming down. Last one. So poise, getting ready for springtime, and lift. Lifting that leg up, nice and strong, and bringing that down. Super. So in the middle here, we'll just have a down dog before we do the other side. So remembering, tucking the toes under, sending the hips back, arms are nice and strong and solid. See if you can lift the knees. Now, if that doesn't feel right, you readjust the hands. I'm going to do that now. It's spread the sit bones. Okay, so you're hovering the knees off the floor. Be true to yourself. Have a look down, see what's going on. And then we're just going to lift up the hips and open out, lengthening through the down dog. And take your feet as wide as you want to. So you're going to be there just for a moment or two. We'll bring the knees down. Super. Then we're going to come forward with that left foot. And again, you're poised. It's start of the race. Limited time. You've got to spring forwards. And then from there. So walking the hands forward a little bit. Bringing that weight forwards. And we're going to spring up. Lovely, lift up, making that back of that, that bum, that gluteal muscle work. Springing forwards up and coming back. Lovely, I hope you can't hear my knee. And then back. Super, and coming down. So it's all that springing energy, that springing up from the earth. So again, let's try our down dog here. I'm just going to hover the knees off the floor. And then we're just lifting up through the hips. So you can do this as many times as you want to. Okay, so we're going to walk forwards. So I'm just going to come up here from the earth. I'm going to just come back to that uh, little sequence with the chair. But we're going to try it a little bit differently this time. So this time I'm going to bring my uh, feet and knees a little bit closer together. I'm going to sit back into that imaginary chair. Stick your bum out, stick your bum out, stick your bum out. And then we're going to reach the arms up from here. So different from coming from the top down. So we come from the bottom upwards. So fire up those legs, squeeze the inner thighs together. If that helps, it helps me. Set your weight back into your heels. Feel the back of your thighs working from here. And then we're going to come up. Ooh, lovely. And folding forward. So we're going to come all the way down. I'm going to come back into the child pose. 
and then forwards into a cobra pose but we're going to do that as a nice wave so sit and back and then we're going to round through the spine round 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 let the hips drop hold it though take your time as you just open into the chest and then we're going to suck that waistband in pulling up on the back of your pants almost and then take it back so waving round really springing forward from the back of your mat lowering down the hips opening the chest the shoulders gliding down the back and you're looking forwards okay so feel like somebody's hugging your ribs in pulling your elbows in and then we're going to pull up with the back of the waistband and taking it back and let's do that one more time and then we're going to round last one here opening lovely and we're coming around we're going to rest here in child so we need to make a pillow or a fist with your hands or fist or pillow and just give yourself time to bow down just taking the time to rest there so that's the full sequence and you can repeat that as many times as you want to and then once you're done I want you just to sit Let's make a connection to the earth. It's very ungrounding and unsettling at this time of year because we've got lots of um, yin energy pushing everything up through the earth. And then that can make you feel a little bit unsettled. Everything's going really fast. You just need to balance that out with a little bit of yin. Okay, so a little bit of stillness here for you, making that connection uh, with the earth mudra, ring finger and the thumb connecting together. Let's turn the palms up. You're going to close the eyes. And we're just going to sit for a moment. So you can pause and you can sit for as long as you want to now. So just feeling the weight of your body into the mat. Where does the seat of your body connect right now? Can you feel some parts of the thighs or the ankles or the feet that are lifting off the earth? Just a little. Some of the pressure is higher than other places. Bring a lightness into your spine as you lift upwards with your energy to the sky. Filling up yourself with breath, expanding from the inside out. And then uncurling through the fingers, placing the palms on the knees, just rounding in on yourself, bowing down. And then coming back up into the room. So what you could do now is just lie down on your mat for a few minutes and just have a little rest and just let your body relax before you carry on with the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. Namaste and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.